right. Yeah. Uh, our project investigates the design of a socio-economic framework as a remedy to informal settlements. In particular, how to design a non-hierarchical organizational framework, i.e. the new place analysis, to solve the energy issue in Orange Town in Karachi, Pakistan. With a sharp, in sharp increase in demand since 2014, as of now, 40% of Pakistan's energy consumption relies on foreign imports. We strongly believe that the settlement itself is the greatest source of innovation and uh, under a like economic powerhouse. Already Town's history of self-construction uh, of its water and sewage infrastructure since 1980 has already proven this. Can we operate along a similar line for the energy issue? Can we capitalize on this existing social network? What about development with equity and progress with participation? <coughs> <laughs> Micro nuclear fusion reactors are already being developed. They uh, are projected to be 50% less expensive than traditional coal solutions. That's a uh, prediction. <laughs> uh, <laughs> storage is also not an issue. Uh, large scale storage will be available using molten silicon. We think the bigger question is how to put technologies into better use, how to fund them and design them in relation to the socio-economic complexity of RNG Town. We propose a framework of the commons for the, management, for the management of the nuclear symbiosis, which consists of six phases, decision making, fundraising, production, consumption and recycling, Evaluation and optimization. Um, we also we have also identified what the essential elements are in each of the six phases of this symbiotic uh, system to preserve the value generated from this industrial complex within the community and to promote small businesses and small ventures. We believe that this can also be economically preferable since it can create a cradle-to-cradle -cradle synthesis while also eliminating third-party profits. But for today, we would like to focus on how to evaluate and optimize this system. Instead of prescribing rules, we would like to capitalize on the existing social network and make this analysis grow in a more natural and spontaneous manner. And how to do this? We have decided to include community currency into our energy town to preserve the value within the, uh, within the community while eliminating uh, outflows. There are many successful practices in different places in the world, such as Kenya, South Africa, and also here, uh, and Belgium. The design of this community currency will go through four, four stages. Input up to matrix, data collection, construction of a predictive model, and lastly, decision making and optimization. And we will go through four of them. Uh, so, on the input side, we experiment with communities of different sizes, different amounts of community currency allocation at the beginning, and different contributions from local and external actors, which, is, which will be reflected in their respective uh, ownership. For the output, we measure energy independence, household incomes, total energy consumption of the community, industrial growth, and energy equality in terms of distribution. We also design, explore different incentives, such as tokens earning by off-peak electricity use, or for example, if you contribute to the social services of the community, you can also earn some tokens back, in a way just to pro promote pro-social behaviors.
Alright, so um, basically it's, uh, uh, it might be quite, uh, uh, the best data you can collect, of course, is the, if you go to the site, go to the community, do some and plan some um, experiments, uh, and uh, eventually you get the uh, data after uh, you have uh, these uh, uh, rules being rolled out. Uh, but that obviously will cost a lot of uh, um, like, uh, people and uh, also uh, a lot of field work. So um, to um, improve the situation and to also study it before we can do that, we also established a simulation, uh, aging-based simulation, which you can add different components we mentioned, like uh, a nuclear uh, battery or uh, some pr local production service. You can add laborers. You can add also some uh, co-op services and household. And uh, they will interact with each other with the flow of uh, energy uh, tokens and uh, also services. And also there's an external market that they were having. Of course, there will be a lot of assumptions. So uh, you can build uh, uh, different scenarios with different community and, uh, uh, and then um, exam, monitor how the uh, social eco uh, economy values will increase, how the token will evolve. And uh, um, uh, of course, we need to uh, have the real data to calibrate the model eventually and to verify if the result is, uh, uh, is, is valid or not. So, but uh, at least we have a tool to start with some synthetic data. Um, so with the data we have, uh, we can uh, further... Uh, now we, we know the, uh, what's the number in input and what it will happen on output. So we can further use the uh, uh, machine learning algorithm to uh, learn the relationship between them. And uh, yeah, you can see when you change the uh, input, and uh, because of all this uh, uh, data collected, we can have the prediction of what the output will be, even with the hypothetical scenario. Yeah, because we, we really want to democratize this decision-making expertise. Uh, so this is an example that, for example, you want to maximize household annual incomes, which is number two in the objectives. So you just want to score higher on number two. Um, you can see some factors are less relevant. <coughs> uh, but to score higher, it would be more effective <coughs> to decrease local investments and to increase external ownership. I mean, there's some issue with the data, but this is a, a structure and idea. And this menu process is always very limited. Um, so we have also developed a way to do so automatically by assigning a greater weight to objective 2 compared to the other objectives. So here I made the objective to uh, with a weight of three, and, it, and it, as you can see, as a result, objective one scores very low. So in this demo, I'm trying to I give a greater weight to objective one. So changing changing this to five, and then when I compute again. It will prioritize uh, objective one. Anyway, it's an optimization uh, uh, that can be uh, provided to the to the community as a tool, so that they don't need to know how to achieve their goal, but instead they they will optimize for them and tell, give them suggestions how to achieve it. And so lastly, all these results will fit into the decision-making process to complete this group. Uh, this evidence-based data-driven approach we hope will provide a more reliable design of the community currencies and the nuclear commons symbiosis in general. And to conclude, by democratizing decision-making techniques, we really hope to empower the residents of Orangey Town 
to build their own academic future.